One of the earliest versions is the Ethiopian Bible and the Sinai Bible. Okay, so Ethiopian Bible. That's fine. Uh, there's this great clip. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if you've seen. Uh, it's on like you know one of these like fucking Ivy League campuses. Yeah. And uh, there's like this these white kids mm -hmm. talking about how it is a, a form of like white colonization mm -hmm. teaching Christianity. And right. there's an African student there who's yeah. like. Christianity was in Africa before it was in Europe. <laughs> and was. then the white girls are just like, uh, they have no clue what to say. So this does, I imagine, speak to that, right? Yeah. So who was it that went to uh, the, the Ethiopia? Which uh, which tribe ended up going there? Because I think it was, there's a Jewish. Oh, you're talking uh, about Isaac, the- um, was it that he went down there? Uh, one you, of the 12. About, yeah, one of the 12 tribes. Moses went down there. No, it was, I think but it was Moses a went down and met his wife, and she was a woman of Cush. So the Kushite people ended up in Ethiopia. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. I thought there was one of his, I thought it was some, some one of the 12 went there, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's it possible. Matthew? Matthew? It's possible, but. So he called uh, Mermena, Mermena, supposedly in Ethiopia, describing as a land that was inhabited by tribes of cannibals. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> no. After departing from Jerusalem and the Holy Apostle Matthew preached uh, the glad tidings of the gospel. And, and that's why you see a Jewish faction there as well. Yeah. Okay, so the earliest version of the Bible, mm -hmm. or one of the earliest, is in Ethiopia. What are right. the differences between that Bible and, let's say, like the King James? Okay, and a couple things. The first, the, the Old Testament is... Is, uh, is the Torah from the Ethiopian Torah. Wait, right. the oldest Torah we have is also Ethiopian? Yeah. yeah. Dude, black people hold <laughs> it. Hell, <laughs> bro. They still really? Speak, they still we speak the original Hebrew. Jews? Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. I gotta go to Brooklyn and apologize to people. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was right the whole time. Yeah, come on. Okay, man. okay. Kyrie Irving was right the whole time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, was, okay. I, did, I did a whole docu whole mini documentary on this. Really? With full research. And, okay, I, I want to get to yeah. all of that, but take us there. Okay, so oldest version of Old Testament, yeah. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Oldest version of New Testament, either Sinai or Ethiopia. Right. What are the differences we see in these and then the newer versions of the text? Well, what's interesting is, is the text, the, 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 there's less um, mistranslations. Less okay. mistranslations, got it. In the Ethiopian Bible and the Sinai Bible, there's about 12 to 14,000 differences than the more modernized King James Version. And, and what are the differences? Uh, well, for example, Moses never crossed the Red Sea. He crossed the Sea of Reeds, which is a closer, much smaller and easier sea to cross. Right. As a matter of fact, if you talk to geologists, which like I did, yeah. you'll find if you do a geological rewind to mm -hmm. go back in time with tectonic plate movements, you can a computer model will simulate that there was an actual tsunami in that area somewhere within that time frame, give or take 100 years or so, which would have easily wiped out that area, completely dried out the Sea of Reeds, and you can walk right across. Then water would have come cr crashing back. Wow. But he never crossed the Red Sea. Also, another mistranslation is the God. God is not supposed to be singular in the Bible. It's plural in all cases. God's with an S. Oh, is? Ah, gosh, really can't see this. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta keep this one. We gotta keep this one. Uh, leave that, leave that, leave that. Uh, we got multiple gods and reincarnations. Yeah. He might be on to something. <laughs> so, so hold on. So, but you see that in certain languages, yeah. like uh, God in Spanish is Dios, mm -hmm. not Dio. So that exactly. would be God's. Yeah. There is a plurality to it. You know why? Because but that they, is Father, they, Son, Holy Ghost, maybe? No, they just copied it from the ancient texts and tablets. And biting, biting. In the ancient texts and tablets, it's multiple gods. In the Bible, you have the gods are Enlil, and all, which is who's also known as Yahweh in Yahweh. the Bible. Mm. Yeah. And you also have that Amen Ra, the great Amen. He's, you know, when you, when you say the Lord's Prayer, that's Enki's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us the air, daily bread, blah, blah, blah. That's Ptah's prayer, who's also known as Enki, yeah, Enki. In which religion? In Christianity. Enki is in Christianity. No, no, he's that's he's ancient Sumerian. That's okay, that's Sumerian. And yeah. who and, and he's an Anunnaki, so you're praying to him. Okay, who uh, uh, I, I I like don't want to go <laughs> yeah. away. I want to yeah. learn about the Sumerians because yeah, I think yeah. that's really important right. to everything else you talk about. But I just want to learn some more about these differences in the Bible. Because okay, yeah. this so, is always really fun. When you right. yeah, obviously yeah. with translation, you're gonna find yeah. differences when right. people are explaining the meaning of certain I'll things. I give you one big uh translation that's off is they say, Well, um Jesus was crucified. Whoa. 
Well, that doesn't exist in the Sinai Bible. What happened? It doesn't to him? exist in the Book of Barnabas. Uh, he, <laughs> he didn't. It's a didn't. fire named Barnabas. I know. <laughs> didn't. Have, but they left that out of the Bible on purpose, by accident. So how did they? <laughs> how did they kill him? They didn't kill him. The in Harvard Library there is a book of Jesus's wife at the Harvard Seminary School. And they found that about eight years ago. Jesus' wife is the, the Mary Magdalene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was not actually... They're assuming it's Mary Magdalene. It doesn't specifically say, but we're assumed that it is. Which means he probably had kids, and his Mary Benjamin bloodline is still probably walking the land till this very day. Wow. Uh, oh, this is fun. The word for virgin was mistranslated from Aramaic into, uh, into Greek. So the word originally meant, uh, I think it was laga, which means young woman. By the time it got to Greek, it was translated wrongly into virgin, which then made it into the biggest part of the story of Jesus, which is that his mother was was. So a, she a might not have been a virgin. It's possible. But when I saw the, what convinced me, that's why I looked deeper. That's how I found out about the grandmother. I said, it might be true. But they, use, they still use that mistranslated word for that. Maybe they didn't have another word to use. Mm. But that would be, a, that's a big mistake. Because um, there's certain parts of the Bible where they use that same word to describe women as being virgins, and they tell men that you have the right to rape them. Jesus. That's Ooh. in the book of Deuteronomy. What? Who wrote that one? Uh, God said this in the book of Deuteronomy. He says... Is this Old Testament Deuteronomy? That's Old Testament, yeah. Wow. Towards the old, end of the Old Testament. He says, if you see a woman walking through a field, yeah. and you want her, you can rape her. Exact words used, by the way. And it says, what? if after you rape her, you decide you want to keep her, you can make her your wife. Wow. Um, yeah, so, that's, that's yeah. God. That's the, that, see, here's, here we go. Yeah, yeah. The creator of the universe, yeah. of the multiverse, yeah. that can think planets into existence, that can speak you know, things into reality. Is R. Kelly. It's going to, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's going to say, you Isn't know what? It? I believe I can die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Great lyrics. Yeah. 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 Bars yeah. is bars, yeah. bro. Wow. Oh, this is great. So, so Deuteronomy makes, is really, oh, is a wild book, oh, listen, huh? Deuteronomy is so bad. And this is where, you know, you, you go, wait a minute. This is really not the creator of the universe. Yeah, yeah. God says, there's a person in a town far away. Yeah who speaks ill of me, go there yeah. and get over the town walls, kill the women, kill the children, kill infants, and bring the spoils of war back to me. Now, Whoa! What kind of, now, what kind of God needs spoils of war? You're God. You got everything. Yeah. Just look up evil Bible. Google, <laughs> Google, Google evil Bible and go to the book of Deuteronomy. So who do you think wrote this? This, these are these Anunnaki people. See, they were these Atlantean leaders. Yes. It got to the point where they became greedy and they became uh, self-made gods. And they really believed